guys and welcome back to my channel at home with shell and today i'm going to be sharing with you a three course meal that is ideal for a date night or valentine's day everything that i'm showing you is ideal if you are following slimming world or trying to calorie count but really want to have a really nice meal So tonight we're actually celebrating Valentine's Day slightly earlier and um, Valentine's Day is always really difficult to celebrate because it's my eldest daughter Tamsin's birthday the day before Valentine's Day, it's my brother's birthday on Valentine's Day and it's my partner Nick's birthday the day after so it's just a bit awkward. So today we are basically having our Valentine's date night and I thought I would film it to show you what i'm making because i'm making a three course meal that is fantastic like i said if you are following slimming world or calorie counting first of all i'll show you everything that you need all of the ingredients that you need i'll link everything down below and if anything is any sins or calories then i will put that information in the description box below and also put it in the screen i really hope that you enjoy this video and that you enjoy this as potentially a meal idea you might for example like the main but not the starter so hopefully one of the three courses you do like um, and if you do make any of them then please do let me know in the comments down below so i've laid out all the ingredients that you'll need to make all three courses nothing too extravagant in here and hopefully a lot of the stuff that you've already got in your cupboard so i'll start with the starter so for starter i'm basically doing a bit of a stuffed mushroom so it's a cheese stuffed mushroom for this you will need two flat mushrooms like this some chili you can leave the chili out if you don't want it too spicy some lemon, a garlic, clove and some cheese and then just some salad to serve it with. Then for the main course I've got a steak ratatouille with rice so you'll need a couple of steaks. I've got sirloin steaks that I picked up from Aldi, um, some rice to serve it with. Spice wise you'll need a pinch of saffron, some smoked paprika, a lemon, some oil spray or fry light, some Dijon mustard, um, flat parsley and basil two tins sorry two cartons of passata or a big jar then veggie wise you will need two peppers i'm using red and yellow but you can use whatever color you want one red onion two courgettes a aubergine a couple of garlic cloves and some harissa and then for dessert i'm basically going to make a healthier version of an eaten mess so i've got some different berries in here some meringue and some 0% Greek yogurt. And then to serve it with, you can obviously have some wine, um, but I'm going to have some of this schlur because it's much lower in calories and sins, and I'm trying not to drink as much alcohol at the moment. I started to prep the mushrooms by removing the stalk and peeling the outer layer then added half a crushed garlic over each one, a few slices of sliced chilli, the zest from a lemon and then a slice of low fat cheese. Place into an oven proof dish and then put under a hot grill for around 8 to 10 minutes. So next I'm just going to prepare the ratatouille. Um, so what you want to do is just grab your courgettes, chop the ends off like this and then slice them down the middle because what you're going to do first is just char these very slightly in a hot griddle pan. do the same with the aubergine as well so just put it in fairly thick slices maybe I don't know about a centimetre thick so put a griddle pan on a high heat and spritz it with some fry light or spray oil and then you just want to add the courgettes initially you might need to do this in batches, so maybe start with the courgette and then the aubergine.
griddle for a couple of minutes turn in halfway and then transfer to a plate whilst you repeat with the aubergines Whilst the aubergines are doing, I'm just going to roughly chop the red onion and the peppers. So everything's nicely charred, I'm just going to turn it off now, chop the veggies here so I've got all of the peppers and onion chopped, I've got the aubergine charred and the courgette charred and now my starter's ready so I'm going to serve that with some salad um, and then come back to this after that. After about 8 minutes the mushrooms are done, the cheese is all melted on top and all I've done is just put some salad onto a plate, place the mushroom on top and then drizzle over a little bit of balsamic vinegar. I've also decorated the dining room, adding some flowers and some candles just to make our dinner feel a little bit more special. Um, we're also going to open the bottle of Schler Bubbly as an alternative to wine because I'm pretty sure that this one is sin free and also hardly any calories. In fact, I think it's like two calories for the whole bottle. So that starter is delicious, definitely one worth trying if you like mushrooms, cheese, garlic, mushrooms, honestly, amazing. And I have to say, that bubbly or schlur that we had is actually very nice as well. It's almost like the same consistency of Prosecco. So it's a real great alternative to drinking alcohol. So we finished the starter now, and now I'm coming to make the main course. So I've just put a large saucepan on um, to a medium to high heat and then just going to spritz it again with some of the oil and then I'm going to add the veggies. So in here I've got my peppers and my onions, so just add them. So this will actually make a lot more than obviously what we're going to eat but I'll just have this um, ratatouille mixing with pasta or chicken or something another day. Roughly chop the charred courgettes and aubergines and add them to the pan. Add the two crushed garlic cloves, stir through for around 30 seconds and then add one heaped teaspoon of harissa Stir through the veggies and then add your two cartons of passata. And I completely forgot to mention in the ingredients list earlier, but I always add a table uh, sorry a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar at this point too. Give it all a good stir, bring to the boil and then simmer for around 15 minutes. Whilst the ratatouille is doing, I'm just going to do the rice. So you can use basmati rice, long grain rice, whatever rice you want. Um, I'm just going to use basmati rice. I'm going to do one cup of rice to... Oh, this is heavy. One cup of rice to two cups of water. And then to the actual rice, add half a lemon, so this is just the lemon left over from the starter. Pop that in there and then a little bit of saffron as well. Saffron can be quite expensive but you literally need like a pinch of it in the rice and it really makes a difference. So scatter that in and then just 
add some salt as well. Bring that to the boil and then turn it down to a simmer, um, probably for around 10 minutes until all the water has disappeared. Whilst everything is cooking, I'm just going to prepare my steak. So I'm using sirloin steak here and I've left them out the fridge for around half an hour before I serve. So I basically got them out when I started to do everything. So they're nice room temperature now, which is the best way to cook them. And then I'm basically just going to season with some salt and add some paprika as well. I'll do the other sides of them when I put them into the pan as well. I'm just going to spritz them with a little bit of oil so they don't stick too much to the pan. So I'm just going to get the steaks bed ready. Um, you'll see what I mean in a minute, um, just while everything else is cooking. So I'm just going to start by chopping some parsley. So I've just got some flat leaf parsley here. Um, don't worry about the stalks or anything, you can include them, just chop them really finely. And then on the board, I'm just going to add some Dijon mustard, so you'll need around a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. A squeeze of half a lemon, so just squeeze it all in and then just mix all that together all around the board. The mustard, the parsley and the lemon, honestly it tastes incredible together, especially when you put the steak on top of it. So I've put the griddle pan onto a high heat, I'll spray with it a little bit of oil then it's time to add in your steaks. Alexa, time for two minutes. So whilst they're in here, I'll then season and paprika the other side. I like my steak quite rare, so cook for around two minutes on a super hot heat on each side. When the steaks are done to your liking, remove from the pan and leave to rest on a board for a couple of minutes before slicing and then placing on top of the mustard and parsley bed that you made. So I like to serve everything in the middle of the table, finish off the ratatouille by adding some fresh basil and then it's also really nice with a dollop of fat free natural yoghurt on the side if you want. So we've just finished our main course. The steak was incredible and it's just a really nice alternative having it with the rice and the ratatouille as opposed to just having it with like steak and chips. Um, yeah, definitely one worth trying. We've had that so many times. It's one of our favorite main meals to have. And I love that there's always loads of ratatouille left as well. So there's definitely enough for another meal for the whole family. So I'll probably just mix in some chicken or have some pasta with it or even some rice again um, it's honestly a really nice sauce with all of the veggies in there it's also really good for you and low in calorie too so now we've had a little rest after our main course and we're just going to make the dessert so dessert is super simple to be honest I'm not a massive dessert person anyway um, so I'm just going to chop up some of the fruit put it in the bowls Put the yogurt on top and then add a crushed meringue over the top. So it's not the most exciting dessert in the world but honestly it tastes really good and it's a lot lower in sins and calories than many other desserts. 
so that is us finished now we had a lovely three course meal i really hope that you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas of some meals that you could have for a bit of a date night especially if you're following slimming world or trying to eat a little bit more healthily it just goes to show that actually you can have a really nice enjoyable meal and some what is it schlur blub, yeah. schlur blub, grape juice <laughs> grape juice <laughs> um without actually having loads on calories and going really off plan so yeah if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you do make any of the meals then do let me know in the comments down below i've mentioned before but i'm always interested in what people think of the recipes that i share so yeah we're just going to probably go and watch happy valley now um but as always thank you very much for watching and have a lovely valentine's day bye <laughs>